So here we're using Apple's new iBooks author program, uh, which allows us to create books that you can display on the iPad, uh, full multimedia uh, presentations. That's really kind of a cool tool. But one of the things that I noticed that I couldn't do was embed a YouTube video right within my book. So uh, I came up with a technique for doing that, and I thought I'd share that with everybody. So I've got a, I want to embed a YouTube video right in this area over here. What you need to do is fire up Dashcode. So Dashcode comes with the uh, iOS SDK. And what you want to do is uh, click on a, a widget, uh, and you want to do Custom. Go ahead and uh, choose that. The next thing you're going to want to do is size the uh, widget appropriately. So while it's highlighted, go ahead and set the size that you want. This is for your container for your embed. So I'm going to set this up at uh, 640 pixels by 360 pixels, which is a recommendation, uh, one of the recommendations for sizing from YouTube. And so we can see our, our widget coming together here. Now, all you need to do from here is go and run and share. Go ahead and you can go ahead and name this if you'd like. So we'll call this YouTube uh, Embed. I'm going to set the uh, minimum OS X version for this to 10.4 and backward compatible. And I'm going to go ahead now and save to disk. And uh, we'll save it right to our desktop. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Uh, at this point, we're going to uh, minimize dash code. And now what we're going to do is, uh, let's go ahead and minimize this. We're going to uh, right click on our saved a package and go ahead and say uh, show package contents. Now at this point what we need to do is we need to edit this uh, main.html file and this is where we're going to customize it uh, for our YouTube video. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, right click on it. I'm going to open this up with uh, my preferred editor which is TextMate. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip some of this stuff out because you just don't need it. So I'm going to strip out all of this code here. I'm going to, I don't need this uh, on load event. In fact, I don't need any of this information in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just strip these divs out. I'm also going to, uh, and we'll strip out the, uh, the on load event. So we've just got a real basic template here. Now, what we want to do from here, let's go take a look at the video we'd like to embed, and we're going to go get the embed code. So what we'll do is say we want to share this and we want to embed it and let's pick the right size so we've got the 640 by 360 size I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and we'll just copy that and we're gonna go ahead and paste this code right within this body section here and what I'm gonna do is uh, you can put any HTML in here that you'd like but I'm gonna go ahead and add a uh, just a center tag close that out. You know, if you wanted to put some text in, you could do that. But uh, in this case, we'll just leave it like this. Uh, we're going to go ahead right now and we'll save that. Now we're going to go back into uh, iBooks Author. Bring that on up. Let me move this widget out of the way here. Now all I need to do is drag this guy in here and drag it into my document. Uh, this is a placeholder right here, so you might want to change that. Let's go to our media and let's say we want to drop in uh, well, let's see, we want to drop in this guy over here. So that's our get search. Uh, and then, of course, you know, you could change anything, any of this that you wanted. But um, once you click on this button, it will, on the iPad, it will go ahead and uh, open up a, uh, a page and you'll see your YouTube video. So you've got to run your preview here. You've got to make sure your iPad's uh, plugged in. But that's all you need to do to embed a YouTube video within your iBook. So I hope you learned something there. Thanks.